So yes, so so last time we we stopped here. So let me quickly go through the question again. So we have uh, yeah we have a uh, uh, current source here, and we have another current source here, and uh, this is a register. Uh, connector here and you have the inductor here you have capacitor and the register again so this is the current IC current uh, through the capacitor and this is the IR2 current through the register this is IR1 current through this register and this ILT is the current through this inductor and uh, this current is equal to four times B L. So meaning whatever the uh, voltage here, okay, this is B L, right? If the voltage here is B L. So the current here changes as the voltage there, four times B L. So that's the question given to us. Now we kind of, uh, we were halfway through, right? So I think we did this uh, last time. We're up to here. This is the, this is where we were at, we, we, we were at last time. So now um, what is our equation there? So our two equations are, if I remember, so C, D, B, C. You don't have to even remember this, you can do it from here, right? So dBC over dt equals IC right here. And the other one is L times DIL dt plus B sub L, okay? So our goal is to figure out of IC and BL. So we want to figure out IC, we want to express our IC in terms of BC, IL. BC, IL, and inputs, IT. Okay. So this is our goal, so similarly, oops. Similarly, we can do this here too. So BL in terms of VC, IL and IT. Okay, so we have to express that. So now, now BL is, uh, BL equals, uh, we have BC here, IR here, R2 and BL and IL, right? So we have to, IL is good. So because we don't have to change it. Okay, ILR2 is good because this is what I what we need, right? Your BL should be in terms of IL. That's good. So you don't have to change it. So BL, maybe we can collect this together. There is VL, there is VL. We can collect them together. Okay. Then BC, yes, this is what we need. BC. We have BC here. Then IT. So only thing we have to do is uh, we have to collect the BL and rearrange. Okay, that's all. So we have let's let's rearrange this uh, uh, this equation. Rearrange. So how do we do that? So BL. So let's uh, multiply this BL times one minus four R two equals BC plus I TR2 minus, can I bring it over this guy? Minus becomes plus when I bring it over, right? Plus BL R2 over R1. Then you have negative IL R2. So you can factor out VL from here. So BL factor out, so what are you left with? Help me here, one minus four R2 plus R2 over R1 equals 
whatever you have on the right hand side. Does it make sense so far? So then your VL, what is your VL then? Your VL will be, let me write this down here. Your VL will be BC plus IT R2 minus IL R2. That's your right hand side, right? Divide by one minus four R2 plus R2 over R1. So can I erase this now? I got v VL. So I brought it up there, okay? So now, now next thing is you have to do IC here, right? So let's figure out IC. IC So what is the relation for IC? So remember we had equation, so we say equation two, what is equation two? Equation two was IC equals I time, IT minus VL over R1 minus IL. So this is what equation two is, okay? We don't have, we haven't seen it here, but this is what it, what it is. Maybe if you have your note from last week, uh, not last week, Tuesday, then you might see this, this equation too, okay? So now the thing is now we have to plug this in, right? We have to plug this B in because we have the B now here, see? Let me call this three. This B is, B comes from here. So IC equals IT, this guy, right? Minus BL. Let me put this BR here, BL, over R1, what will your VL over R1? So BC over R1, R2 over R1, R2 over R1, right? Is that okay? Then minus BC over R1 plus IT R2 over R1 minus IL R2 over R1 divide by the bottom here, right? This guy, one minus four R2 plus R2 over R1, then you have IL. Okay, so can I multiply this IL by this and, uh, uh, So couldn't we have put the you know, uh, R1 in the denominator? Excuse me? We could have put in the R1 in the denominator, right? So instead of this one? Yes. Yeah, you can do that, but uh, you know, you, you know what? I, why I do, the, do that? Because, you know, I have R2 over R1 right here. Right. So that's why I want to match, you know, maybe some of the terms I can cancel, you know. Oh, right, right, right. I just saw that. Okay. I'm greedy now. Right, right, I see it, okay. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, no, I got you, no, I just saw that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, good question, yep. Now let's, uh, let's uh, take the, you know, the LCM. So you have one minus four, R2 plus R2 over R1, that's the bottom, right? So what do you have here? So multiply this by this guy, right? What do you get? Help me here, please. I might, I might, I might mess up here. Please help me, okay? So this is one minus four uh, R two. So I, guys, please uh, pay attention to it, okay? So I might mess up here. So please, so R two over R one. Then it. So I finish this part, right? Then this one here, what do I have? Uh, minus, this is minus here, right? So this, this is minus to everything. So because this middle thing is minus here, do you remember? 
this is minus. So that's why this we will have to distribute minus one all over, right? Throughout rather. Minus. So what is there? Guys, help me. I'm lost. BC over R1 minus. Uh, what is that? R2. Let me put this R2 over R1 IT. Let me put this IT here because I try to see the maths here, okay? That's why I'm trying to do that. Then what else? So this guy is plus now, right? This is plus plus. Uh, R2 over R1 IL. R2 over R1. Then what is here? Minus this guy, right? Minus IL. Minus IL, right? Then minus minus plus. Plus four, help me here. Four R2. Four R2, IL, right? Then you have one more left here. So what is the other one? Minus R2 over R1, IL. Guys, did I miss anything up? Did I mess up somewhere? No. Sounds good. Yeah. 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 Thank you for the help. So, so let's let's uh let's uh, simplify this guy. So what do you have here? This this guy cancel with this guy. I already saw that. Then. Uh, what else? Is there any anything I can do? Thirty I I N. Positive and negative. Yeah, this guy, right? Yes. Okay, okay, good. Okay, now what is my IC then? So I got my IC. This IC is done now. So what is my IC then? So let me write this up here, okay? Because now it's short. I think I can fit in here. So IT. Uh, can I rearrange some of them? Yes. So I have here IL. And what is my next ISA somewhere? There. So the four R two. Yep, right there. So let me rearrange this. So I can say four R two minus one I L. So this guy's gone, right? This guy's gone. Now, how about this guy? I have this guy here, minus B C over R one. Then I have uh, what I have here. So IT, see, I can rearrange IT now, okay? So what I can do here is plus one minus four R2 IT. Uh, divide by one minus four R2 R2 R1. That's my IC. Does it make sense? This guy, any question please so far? Yes or no, maybe. I hate teaching teaching this way, you know, because then I cannot see your face. Otherwise, I could I could read your face clearly if it were in the face to face class. Guys, any question, please? Any comment? I think I'm all set with it. Okay, very. Good. Now let's uh, plug in the values then, okay? Let's plug in the values then. Now our, our equation is this, right? So let's, let's uh, rewrite this guy then. How do you rewrite this guy?
Okay, so this guy can be written as, you know what, so let me, let me, because, so this is constant, right? See, this is the constant thing in both of them. I call something, uh, you know, what do I call? Let me call it delta, how about that? Let me call this delta. And my delta is this, so let me simplify it a little bit. So then, how can I write this guy? I can write this guy as C, D, B, C, D, T equals, what is my IC? So IC, right? So IC, IL, BC, and RT. So I have this guy, 4R2 minus 1, IL minus BC over R1 plus 1 minus 4, R2 IT divided by delta, right? You know what? I can get rid of this C here. I can get rid of this C and uh, I can say C delta. How about that? I can say C delta. Okay, then similarly, you have L di over dt. So I want to get to get so similar this guy. I'm working on this guy now. So L, you can take it down again. So what is your VC? VC, not VC, VL. VC over R1. Oh, not the R1 because we have a VC, right? VL. Right, not R1. So I'm going to get rid of R1 now. Okay, this is my BL, right? So then VC, help me here, VC plus IT R2, right? Minus IL R2. Divide by delta C, delta L, right? Delta L. That's what I have. Now, how do I rewrite this guy in terms of uh, uh, the? Let me go to the next page. Okay, so let me read. Let me take this over to next page. And let me bring it over to the next page and do the thing. Okay. Hopefully that will be easier. Right here, let's see. Oops. This is what I have. Okay, now this is the, okay, I couldn't. So let's do the, um, what will be the matrix form here? So on the left-hand side, let's do the matrix form, okay? So on the left-hand side, so your C is already down there, right? So let me call uh, C, this is delta. This is delta. Sorry about that, this is delta and this is C. And this is a uh, delta. And you got this L down here, delta L, right? So I'm rewriting this in uh, in matrix form, okay? So what is on the left-hand side? You have a derivative of VC and derivative of uh, IL. That's your X dot, right? That's your X dot, okay? Equals something times X. So X is there. X is what? VC and IL. Now you need to figure out this something here. Then, then something time U, right? U is IT. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this two out. So this two. So what is this guy? Based on this. So BC 
BC multiply with so BC help me here. BC here, right? This guy. Can I say minus one over R one delta C? That should be C. Then what next? IL, right? IL is this guy. For R2. For R2 minus 1 divided by what? Delta C, right? So how about here now? Now we have to do two things here. So based on this guy. So what is what will be there? You have a BC over delta L. Meaning one over delta L here. So how about here now? You have negative uh, R2 over delta L, right? Negative R2 over delta L. Now, does this guy have IT? IT is here. Then how about here? Do I have IT? Yeah, I have IT here too. So what will be here then? So from here you have one minus four R, one minus four R two. That's plus, right? Over delta C, right? Then the bottom one is help me here. R two over delta L. R two over delta L. That's my uh, final answer. Does it make sense so far? So I guess I'm kind of missing. So you know how you have delta C and delta L in the denominator? Yes. Um, how, does that, how does that become? So I understood how it became the one minus four R2 part is the delta, but where did R2 over R1 come from? Um, this one? Yeah. Uh, remember we, we had this equation? We got this one? So, yeah, I just didn't follow where that part happened. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, it, I don't know. Actually, I had to flip. Sorry, never mind. I see it now. I had to flip the page back in my notes to see. Oh, it. oh okay, good. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little lost. So. No, that's fine. And it's, this is messy, you know. This is not easy. messy calculation, lengthy. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, that's normal. So, am I good to go? Next page. Yeah, I think I'm good anyway. <laughs> All right. So here. Now we we have oh, I'm, oops where are or okay I'm yeah I'm here now, so now this step three is uh, now the next thing is to do the uh, um, output variables. So output variables are uh, br two and uh, i ir two. How do I know? It's given in the question. So let me take you back to the question here. So this is my output variable, see that? These are the output variable, okay? So that's what I need to figure out now. So, these two. Now, how do I get this from? Where did I get this from? Guys, help me here, how did I get this one? Oh, I use the Kirchhoff's law. Remember, I had it before. Yeah, I had it. So I use the Kirchhoff's law at the, yeah, so I use the Kirchhoff's law and the Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. If you take a look at your note from last, from last you know, uh, from last time, you will see that, okay? Is there? So then, now we need to we need to write the value, plug in the value of these guys now. So 
we are to let's do that we are to equals negative vc plus so vl so let's put the what is the value of vl if you have the note then help me here vc plus it r2 minus il r2 that's my vl right divide by of course i have something in the denominator so this is my this is my r br2 so now let's simplify this guy let's simplify how do i simplify it well let's see so this is delta i can call delta right so minus Let me rewrite in the delta form. Oh, well. So let me rewrite. So maybe otherwise it might be confusing. So BC over delta plus IT R2 over delta minus IL R2 over delta. So then you have BC, just collect the similar terms here. So factor out VC, what do you get? One over delta minus one VC. Then what do you get here? Plus IT R2 divide by, um, divide by delta, right? Guys, I'm about to, I'm getting lost. Please help me. Does it make sense so far? Or did I miss anything? What about ILR2 over delta? Wait, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a negative thing, right? Negative ILR2 over delta. Yeah, thank you. So I got this, I got that, I got that. Yeah, so this is my, this is my BR2. Okay, let's do the IR2 now. See, I have in terms of BC and IT and IL, remember? I have to have in terms of state variables, BC, IL, and the input IT. So done. Now similar IR2. So IR2 is here, right? Equals IC plus four BL. So what is my IC? I have in the previous thing, right? So what is my IC? This guy. This is what I'm going to take, IC. Okay, let me bring it over from here, there to here. Oops. So my IC is 4R2 minus one IL minus BC over R1 plus plus one minus four R2 IT over delta, that's my IC. Okay, then plus four what is your VL? VL is for BC over delta plus four R2 IT over delta minus four R2 IL over delta. That's your, that's your four VL. Okay, four is there, then VL is, you, multi, you know, I distributed four.
question here please all right so let me simplify this guy here so can i do this so let me distribute this uh, delta here this delta goes in here here and here So can I simplify this guy? Guys, help me. Is there anything I can get rid of? Right here. Is there anything I can get rid of? 4R2 IL over delta. There, right? this one yeah this guy this guy the first part not one not one one is there then uh, this guy this guy with uh, this part because this minus it over delta so what i left with minus il over delta minus bc over delta r1 plus i over delta it you could say it plus bc over delta this guy that's it right so let's simplify this so can we rearrange this guy so BC, right? Let's say first variable BC. So what do I, how do I rearrange this guy? BC four minus one over R1. Factor out BC, right? Then what do you have? Then my next uh, input is IL. Then I have input. So next uh, state variable IL now. Next, you know, the, the input is IT over delta. So now I have IR2 in terms of BC, IL, and input. Question here. Then you can make the input input matrix now. Okay, so what is the input matrix? Input matrix will be So we are to I are to right equals so you have what is your input uh, state variables state variables are ILBC right okay then you have some then IT so what is this here? You have to figure out this four and uh, these two. Let's do that. What is this guy? R2, right? So we have to take it from here, R2, BR2, because first one is BR2. So IL, so look at the IL part, what is IL? Right there, okay? So that will be negative R2 over delta. Then, then BC, uh, BC, right? This is one over delta minus one. This guy BC, right? Then, how about here? Uh, you have IT part, IT is R2 over delta. R2 over delta. So this is done. Now here, how about I, I R2 part? We see IL first, right? Negative uh, one over delta. So this guy is done. Then uh, this guy, four minus one over R1 times BC, right? So this is done. Then we have R IT, so one over delta. Now this is our output equation.
question here please um all right i guess it's, probably it's just another math like algebra thing but going back up to um ir2 like you canceled out to simplify down you canceled out the 4r2 minus 1 times the il yep where you're pointing and also the the 1 minus 4r2 times it over delta um how did that how did those go away no not this guy this guy and this guy go away this, oh this guy and this guy go away oh i see it now okay i just i i yeah got lost again thank you yeah no problem yeah yeah okay any other question anybody emery Nick, Saad, Lucas, is LJ there? Yeah. LJ is not here. Um, yes. Yes, sir. So, any questions so far? No, sir. I don't think so. Okay, very good. So, let's move on to the next problem then. Okay, let's do this next problem. So we have a, a translational mechanical system. Okay. Now, how do you represent this uh, in uh, in uh, in time domain? Okay, that's the thing. Okay, so how many? How many state variables do you think this guy will have? So energy storage elements. So can you can you can you guys help me figure out energy storage element? How many elements do you see here? Well, you have the spring, right? Right, exactly. And mass. And the mass, yeah. So, and also this guy is uh, is not the energy storing. This uh, dissipate energy, not the storing. It doesn't store energy, but this guy eats up energy. So, that's why we expect we'll have uh, three state variables, right? These state variables. That's our expectation. But the thing is, when you talk about mechanical system, right? So instead of uh, this is the minimum. This three is the minimum. Okay. We we require minimum three state variables. But the thing is, you can go higher too. You can go to higher, maybe four or five. I don't know. But the thing is, if you do that. Then the solution becomes complicated, a little complicated. Okay. It's not wrong, but solution will be a little complicated. So, so we have to always do that, you know, there's always trade-off. So if you have three very three state variables, the problem will be a little simpler. When I say simpler, in, in a simpler form, okay. But sometimes simpler form is difficult to get. That's the thing. Remember, simplification are sometimes, you know, it's not easy. Okay, so yeah, there is a trade off. Now, that's why, when in terms of uh, translational mecha mechanical system, what we do is we associate uh, two state variables for each mass. For each degree of freedom, that's okay, not mass. For each degree of freedom, we associate two state variables. So that makes our problem easy. You know, it's the setup easy. You know, the, when you set up the problems equation, that will be easier if you choose 
two for each uh, degrees of freedom. Each degree of freedom, we choose two state variables. So in that case, we'll have two plus two, four state variables instead of three. We'll have one extra. But uh, that's okay because you know that will that will make our life too much easy to set up the problem. So we'll take it. So normally for the translational mechanical system, so we always uh, take uh, the state variables equals twice times degree of freedom, two times degree of freedom. We have two degrees of freedom. That's why we take four state variables. Even though three three state variables will suffice to solve, you know, to set up the problem, but we take four state variables. So what are those state variables then? Those state variables would be, I you might have already realized, you know, uh, thought about it. So that the state variable will be x1 and d x1 dt and x2 and dx2 dt, the position and velocity. So those four are the state variables. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now our state variables are these. Now, so what is the, what is the equation of motion for this guy? Let me go back to the S space and come back to the T space again because you know S space makes our life so much easy. Because if you have taken uh, differential equation, you might have realized that already. So S space is too much easy, okay? So that's why let me go back to S space and write the equation of motion for each, each uh, degree of freedom for X1, for X1, so what is the equation of motion? Uh, this guy is moving this way, right? Let me make the free body diagram, F M1, because free body diagram makes my life easy. M1 is here, X1 is there. Then, uh, so this guy is pulled up, you know, pulled to the right. So it has a tendency to go left. So which is FV? Do you see FB or A? I, would, I think we should call D, right? In the, in the translation we would call D, okay. D, DX1 over DT. Then what is that? Mm, what is this guy? Other one, MA, M1D, Second derivative of this guy. And you have what? What else do you have? And also spring, right? You have spring. So spring will be compressed or, help me here. Will be compressed or uh, elongated? Does it elongates or? Okay, the X1 is towards that way, right? So. It, it compresses, that's why this is towards uh, left again, okay? It's bring also towards the left K X1. So what is the impedance then? What is the impedance for X1? Remember, sum of impedance? What is the sum of impedance? Sum of impedance times X1, let me like a little bigger, times X1 minus sum of impedance times X2, equals zero, right? That's the thing, right? So we are talking about this guy for X1. What is sum of impedance? You don't have to even do that actually. You just do the sum of impedance thing. I think we already learned that, right? So we can do that actually. So what is the sum of impedance thing here? M1, M1, S squared, right? Then uh, what is the impedance here? DS, what is the impedance here? K, X1. Then what is the other one? Um, 
uh, x2, right? For due to x2, the k, right? This is one of the equation. Now, similarly, we go for x2. For x2, what do you have? For x2, sum of impedance. For x1, and sum of impedance for x2. So, but there is the force is not zero in this case, right? You see Fs. Which one is minus? This is minus or this one minus? Help me guys here. The first is minus, yep. Uh, x1. Yep, this is minus, so this is plus, right? So let's fill in the fill in the blank here. So this blanks. So x1, so let me do x2 first, because I, I start with, I want to do x2 first. So for x2, what are the thing? We have M2S squared. Then we have KS, KS, simply K, right? So you have two things here. Then for, for in terms of X1, so KX2, right? KX1. So if you take the inverse derivative, then what do you get? Inverse Laplace transform, what do you get here? M1 D F D T square. Of course, with initial uh, condition, zero in initial conditions, right? Plus D D X1 over D T plus K X1. Of course, these are small K, small X, right? These are big. This is small. Equals zero. Did I miss something? I think I did minus k x2 equals zero. So I got this from here. Now from here, what do I get? Minus k x1, what do you got here? Plus, guys help me here, plus m2, M2 d squared x dt squared. Yep. Thank you. Then plus uh, k x2 equals ft, right? Now, what are the state variables here? Now, what are the state variables? Let me change the color here. So my state variables are x1, dx1 over dt, x2, dx2 over dt, right? These are my state variables. I can call it x1, this is b1, x2, this is b2. So, how do I find four state variables, four equation here? So, meaning you have to get four equation in terms of x1, Remember, you have to have four differential equation, right? You have to have dx1 over dt. You have to have dv1 over dt. You have to have dx2 over dt. And you have to have dv2 over dt. So on the left-hand side, you have to have this, and you have to have right-hand side something on the right-hand side. So you have to have one, this kind of equation, you have to have another equation like this, you have to have another equation like this. Okay, so you have to fill in the right-hand side here. Left-hand side is fixed. Left-hand side is dx1 dt, what is on the right-hand side? dv1 dt, what is on the right-hand side? Okay dx2 dt, what is in the right-hand side? dv2 
dt what is in the right hand side you have to fill in the right hand side so what is your dx1 over dt now let's 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 finish the first one what is your dx1 over dt hmm? so you have four equations so you have these equations here you have this and you have this so let me call one let me call two let me call three here okay these are all three this is a 3a 3b 3c and 3d how about that so so out of those how many because we have in total we have one two and we have four here right we have six equations. So we have six equations to figure out the right hand side. So which one, which equation do you want to use here? Let's take the derivative of this guy. What is the derivative of this guy? Um, so you have to you have to have in terms of x1. Try to write the right hand side in terms of x1, d1, x2, and v2, okay? So this right hand side will be in terms of x1, v1, x2, v2. This right hand side will be in terms of x1, v1, x2, v2. This right hand side will be in terms of x1, v1, x2, v2. This right hand side will also will be in terms of x1, v1, x2, v2. Now, can I simply write this guy as v1? Because, you know, dx1 by dt equals v1, right? See that? So we got this done. This is done. Let me call this four. Our dv1 by dt. How do you figure that out? dv1 over dt. What is on the right hand side? Oh, what do you, how do you get that? Oh, do you think I can get this dv1 from one? Let's see. Divide both sides by M1. Okay. So then M1, M1 cancel. So can I rewrite this guy as D V1 over DT? Yes, this guy. So meaning your d v1 over dt comes from equation one, this guy. So what is this? Help me here. So, so this guy goes to the left, right? Go to the right, so d over m1. So what is dx1 over dt? Remember our goal is to write in terms of those four. So what is this? dx1 over dt is which variable here? Look at the uh, equation three here. Guys, help me here, please. Is it uh, v1? v1. Yep, that's my v1. So then, then this guy goes to the right and becomes negative. Negative k over m1. Then x2, right? x2 is, uh, yeah, x2 is one of them. Good. So x2, we don't need to change. We don't need to change, so what else? Oh, did I miss something? I think I did, right? This guy, I missed this guy. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is plus, actually. This is plus. You know what? Let me, let me do it this way. So let me talk about this guy first, okay? So I missed it. So this becomes go to my uh, right hand side and my becomes minus kx1 rather, right? Then this guy goes to the right hand side and becomes plus k over m1 x2. There. Okay, so far so good.
So far, so good, right? So now let's figure out. We got dx1 dt. We got dv1 dt. Now we have to. We need to get dx2 dt. So how do you get dx2 dt? dx2 dt is v2. It's easy. So you can simply write dx2 dt equals v2. Okay. You have four. This is five. Let me call this six. Then how about the, the other one? Which one is remaining? We are left with this guy now. So dv2 over dt. So how do I get this from? What did I get this from? dv2 over dt. dv2 over dt. Derivative of v2. So maybe from here. See that? Maybe this equation will give us, if we divide both sides by m2, in the, the way we did here, right? So divide both sides by m2 and what do I get? dv2 over dt equals, guys, you might need to help me here. Oh, how do I get it? Hmm? So this guy goes to the right hand side, becomes K, a plus, right? K, over m2, right? k over m2, x1, this guy. Because the m2, we are dividing everywhere by left and right by m2, right? So that is m2, everything, everywhere. So then what is the next one? Ma this guy goes to the other side, becomes minus k over m2. Uh, x2 right okay now guys help me i'm lost where am i one two three now this guy right this guy is ft over ft over m2 this is seven so so far so good Yeah. Okay, like, let me erase these two guys because I don't need, I just need four, five, six, and seven now. Because I have to make the matrix now, right? So let me make this space for me to make a matrix. So now your matrix, remember the x dot equals, right? That's thing. What is your x dot now? x dot. So x dot is, what is your x dot? You have x1 dot, v1 dot, you have x2 dot, you have v2 dot. That's your left hand side. Then right hand side is, you have something here. I might have to make it bigger, right? Because this is very big now. Then your, what is your x? x is x1, v1, x2, v2. That's your x. So now let's do, I need, what do I need here? This is the huge matrix. This is four by four. One, two, three, four. Four by four, okay? One, two, three, four. This is four by four matrix. Okay, now let's figure out. So what is your X1 times? See, go here. X1 dot, this is my X1 dot, right? X1 dot equals, so we just have B1, everything else is zero, right? So where does the B1 go? B1 is second one, so here. B1 is one. So everything else is zero. So now this guy is done. This number four is done. Now what is number five? D V1, right? We have the yeah, dot, right? B1 dot, which comes from number five. This is dot, B1 dot. So now B1. So you have to first do the X1 part. See, X1 is the first one. What is the X1 here? Minus K over M, M1, right? 
minus k over m1 x1 is done so then what next v1 right so v1 comes from where here minus d over m1 this one is done x1 is done right this is done the next one is done why about x2 the next part is x2 x2 comes from here k over m1 Then now what is the next one? V2. We don't have V2 here, right? Meaning zero. Guys, does it make sense so far? Yeah. Okay, now the third one is X2 dot. X2 dot comes from here. So V2 is there. Everything else is zero. What is V2? V2 is here. Meaning V2 is one. Everything else is zero. Now, Let's take a look at this guy. So what, how about here? X1, first one is X1. First one is X1. So X1 times what? K over M2. K over M2. Then first one, it's, the next one is V1. What is V1 here? V1 is zero, right? So next one is X2. What is my X2 here? This guy. So minus k, negative k over m2. Then what is the last one? Last one is v2, that's zero, right? Now you still have this guy here. I still have that guy because I need the another one, right? Remember x dot equals a times x plus, right? You have another mat matrix here, times ft, right? That's what you have. Now this guy has four. So Ft, in the X, do I have Ft? No, he doesn't have Ft, that's why it's zero. In the V, do I have Ft? Here, no, that's why this is zero. In the X2, do I have Ft? Ft? No, that's why it is zero. In the, Equation for V2, do I have Ft? Yes, right? So that's why 1 over M2. So one of the equations is done here. Yeah, that's it. We're done. Unless you have any question, I'm done for, done for, with this problem. Now let me go to the next one. Question here? Before I start this one. Nope, I'm good to go. Very good. Now let's do this problem then. So we have, uh, this is exercise 3.1, okay, from the book. So how many, how many, Help me here. How many state variables do you think you should have here? Right now, at this point, I expect help from you. Please help mm -hmm. me. Would you need? How many state variables do you need? Three? Yes. Because we have three uh, energy storage device, right? We have C1, L, and C2. So we need three state variables. Three state variables. That's our need. At least three. So let's let's write down the equ equation. So what is the what is the equation for this guy? So we have been doing it. So this is my equation for that one. I C one, right? This is my I C one. Okay. So what is the next one? Here, over here, L, DBL, or DIL, DIL, right? DIL over DT equals VL, right? That's the voltage here, is equal to this guy. Now, how about here? C2 is similar to this guy. C2, DBC2 over D2, sorry, DT equals IC2. So we have three equations here. Now our goal is to figure out this guy 
in terms of BC1, IL, BC2, and BT, B1T. Now we have to express this guy in terms of these four. Similarly, this guy also in terms of these four. Similarly, this guy in terms of all these four. Then we're done. Okay, that's the thing. So, all right, so what do we start with? We start with, how do we get that? How do you, we need IC1, guys. So how do, we, let's talk about the IC1. How do I express this guy in terms of all those things? Is there any rule that guides? Is there LC, IC1 meaning? How are to use this one here? IC, current law, right? We are talking about IC, right? Current, so how are to talk the, take the current here? What is the current there? KCL. Mm, help me. IC1, IL, IR equals zero. So what is the sign? Ingoing plus outgoing minus outgoing minus. So your IC1 is IC1 equals IL plus IR. I take it to the right hand side and IC1 minus IR. Oh, not this one. I take this to the right hand side, okay? That's what I did. So IL is uh, fine, right? I'm okay with IL because I need that, right? I don't want to toss that, IL is good. IL is good, now how about IR? I don't want to toss this because that's what I need. So IR, how do I do with this? What do I do with the IR there? Any suggestion, how do I get rid of IR? in terms of something we, we need. Okay, so can we do this? So voltage over here, this voltage is equal to this voltage plus this voltage. Can I say that? Hmm? Let's use that thing here. BL BL equals what I meant is this BL BR BC2 equals zero, right? Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law. So this guy, suppose you are here, you go up here. So you are going uphill, right? So BR is plus. Here you are going downhill because you, you wanna go th this way. So here you are going downhill, this is minus. And here you are going downhill, this is minus. So can I write this guy as, Hmm? What is your BR? This implies BR equals, see, I have IR here, right? So that's why I write, you use the Ohm's law. BR equals BL minus BC2, then IR, right? Let's use the Ohm's law now. So can I write this IR as this? BR over? And BR over R, Ohm's law. So how about BR? BR is this guy here. So BL minus BC2. That's my thing. Guys, did I make any mistake? 
I think that's right. That's right, right? Now I need the BC2 is fine, right? See, I got BC2, this is good. But I don't need this guy again. That's the thing, how do I get rid of this guy? BL. Can I write BL in terms of BI, B1? So in that case, maybe we have to use the rule here, right? Because VI, B1 is here, right? So that's my guess. I don't know, let's see. Here, right? So what is the, what, what is the thing? What is the Kirchhoff's voltage law? There, in that loop. So suppose you are here, you're going uphill here, right? So B1, T, then here, what is here? B, C1, what is here? BL equals zero, right? So from here to here, you are going uphill, this is plus. From here to here, you are going downhill, this is minus. From here to here, you are going downhill, this is minus. So in that case, my BL is what? BL is B1 minus BC1. See, we had a bumper here because we got BL in terms of B1 and BC1 because BC1, this is what we need, also B1. So we are very happy. IL plus BL is B1 minus BC1. B1 minus BC1 minus BC2, right? B sub C2 divided by R2. So this is my IC1, IC1 is done. So, do you think I can do the, I, I do a little bit and can you guys finish it? I got the idea, right? Where did yeah. R2 come from? Uh, R2, right, because uh, IR, what is the Ohm's law here, IR? IR is using Ohm's law, BR over R. Oh, you got me there. I think there's just R or R1. There isn't really an R. Simply R, because we don't have two R, right? Right, okay, thank you. That's, uh, that's what I thought. I just want to make sure. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Good catch. So, I should have, because I was so used to writing R2, so. <laughs> 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 so if you guys have some time so I'll finish this otherwise I leave it up to you guys so finish to finish it up do you think I should continue or you, you think you're okay I mean I, I might appreciate next time following it through to the end like uh -huh. with you but I, I do want to ask though just real quickly um, so like we're we're gonna have a quiz next week, right? Right. At which sorry, which day is it again? Uh, Tuesday. Okay. Um. So I was just wondering. Um. Are you gonna post the solution to the last homework so that like, cause for me to study, I kind of want to look at yeah the homework and make sure I actually am doing okay. Cause honestly, I I don't really know how I'm doing like in right now <laughs> i know i know i'm i'm almost done with my solution now i i should be able okay. to post it by tonight okay just because in case i need any help from you uh yeah. there's not a lot of time to get help if i feel like i'm not doing good so <laughs> uh, or in that case i can postpone the test uh, quiz to thursday one week from now so that you will get okay. a chance to ask me questions during the office hour yeah, I, I really would appreciate that a lot. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know if, if I'm doing good or not. I feel a little overwhelmed, so. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I, I can see that because this is this is too much. It, it's a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, please. Um, I know, I think it was last class. I think Emmy mentioned um, potentially like,